Hey everybody, Bigfoot videos here today. Um, so this one is a miter saw that my father-in-law gave me that was his dad's. And it's also a Harbor Freight, but much newer. But it's real rusted. It looks like it's been sitting outside. It works. Um, and it's also unplugged. It actually, it probably has a decent blade on it. Um, actually, remember it, keep, make sure it's unplugged, but it's real, the surface is real rusty. The tips of the blades seem to be in decent shape since they're probably carbide. This is a Harbor Freight blade. So I'm going to leave this blade on here, but it's just looking it's so rusted, even like this pin down here, it won't. It won't pull back out of the slot. It's got a different design this other, than the other one does. So you're supposed to be able to push this. Little lever down right here, <clears throat> and that pulls a pin that goes into these slots <coughs> all the way around down. So, what I'm doing is I'm pushing on this pin here. So I've got this loose, this locks it everything in once you get where you want. So, that's loose. And I'll pinch down, put pressure on it, and I'm going to stick a flathead screwdriver in. Actually, you got to take your thumb off of that lever. Now, it's, if you hold it down, you should be able to turn it up to zero. Who knows if that's square or not, but it's square enough for now. Check it later. Lock that in. But I could uh, sandpaper this later. As you can see, it's, I mean, you can see how rusty that, that's, that's rusty. That's how rusty that pin is in here. Really need to take it apart. Um, look at it, but you can see how rusty that is. Back in, so it's probably not a whole lot of sliding action going on in this thing. Yeah, not really. Yeah, my hands are dirty. But, um, I get it. That work. These hover freights. Are not the best designed. But when I get the wood shop built, I am going to rig up some serious dust collection stations. I'm trying to do something pretty neat. Um, yeah, so that goes like that. I'm going to try to get this thing to where I can at least make square cuts on it. Y'all doing, Billy? Really? Are y'all getting greenery stuff? WD forty in this thing. If I can get some help on it. It's not working right. Yeah. Let's see if that works. 
script time. Not by I said by script, I meant <clears throat> these uh do it like this. It's around back around Clamps, I'm gonna use clamps, is what I was trying to say. Ugh. Smaller ones. Might be able to do just one. If I can get enough out of it. I'll put, uh, Maybe a piece of wood in there, metal. I can find something that let's do uh, this right here. Crazy. There we go. So I'm going to have to do this a few times. Hopefully I can get it breast busted loose. Obviously, make sure that you've got your keeper deal loose. Yours is rusted as bad. <clears throat> so, I would imagine that I'm tapped out on that. I would imagine that having a nicer brand would allow for much ac much more accurate cuts for finishing work. Um, but this is good enough for framing. Um, this one's maybe not, but my other one for sure is. I mean, I built cabinets with it, and it was pretty, pretty solid. Now this thing won't go down. Pops loose. How did that happen? Man, that's crazy. Good WD forty everywhere. So got to go another another few inches.
to do this at least probably two more times get it all the way in the hole Still getting this thing through. And it was rusted, dude. All up inside there. strength and I'm just now starting to see some from where the side I started Oh gosh. Almost there. Come on, give it to me. Uh, I think that's it. There's a little pin there. And, dude. Lock that in and get a full cut out of this one. And WD 40 this up. Now, now I could sand a whole side, the whole back side of this here, real good. Grease it up with some, some kind of a grease to keep it from corroding again. And I might get some good life out of this thing. Um, I'll have to hook up a vacuum hose right here at some point. But let's see. Pretty sure I checked this already. Let's, let's double check. I could be misremembering. work. 
works. in that. that again if you enjoy the videos like this um, or some of my other videos um, if you would hit that subscribe button um, hit the like button and then if you have any questions or just want to comment good job or something like that and um, that always helps out as well and if, but if you have questions I'll I usually respond pretty quick uh, for sure within 24 hours. So as always, have a great day. Bigfoot out.